Leo, what's going on? Not much. Sorry, my bad. I was just uh, I was just about to give you a call. Let me cut these lights on real quick before we get started. All right, you good? You good? Yeah, this is crazy. Oh my god. Is this uh, is this camera angle good for you, or do you need me to turn it? No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Great. You're good. Oh, by the way, this is the YouTube Cruiserweight Championship I was talking about. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so let me let me get everything situated with this. Um, all right, guys, we are here. The day has come. We got the former NXT Cruiserweight Champion. And I got to do the voice. I got to do the voice. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway because he is that great. We are watching and listening to greatness right now. It, for those that don't know, you need to go get Ever After. It was, first of all, first of all, I want to say amazing, amazing. As soon as 12 o'clock hit, I went and got it. I was just like, holy crap. <laughs> I appreciate a, a, that. A, amazing bangers, man. But here we go. We are here with the man of the hour. The 25-year-old piece of gold. The Versace doctor. The doctor that has so many prescriptions, he doesn't know what to do with them. Leo Rush. What's going on, my man? Nothing much. I'm um, just, you see, I had to, I had to be prepared. I got my own. Hey, got to. You got I'm to. Um, so like I said, congratulations on, uh, ever after, amazing. Um, I want to know, we could get right into this. Um, I want to know, like, what was your, what was your, uh, motivation going into, making this album. Uh, yeah, I think I think this the, the motivation going into this album was, uh, you know, me being or wanting to be so uh, vulnerable and willing to be vulnerable with my fans. And I, I figured that I've touched base on, you know, a subject that not only my stuff, uh, but a lot of the world right now, you know, go through and that's relationships, whether that is past relationships or or, uh, you know, current relationships that people are in. Or you know expectations for relationships that they want in the future. I feel like um, I, I just wanted something to be uh, extremely relatable to the people that were going to be listening to it. So I think that was my motivation. Respect, man. Super respect for that. Um. Uh. Also, to be honest, you're not that much older than I am. I'm. I'm only 24. We're. We're uh, practically brothers. We're practically brothers here. I. I tell everybody. I said this guy is like my celebrity big brother right here. You know, we, we, we have pretty much the same kind of, we both have the same um, issues pretty much going on in life. Um, I know I suffered from, you know, um, anxiety, um, depression, self-harm over the years. And um, when I watched your matches back when you were doing wrestling, I just was like, yo, this guy is killing it out here. We're we're pretty much the same size. This guy is absolutely killing it. Like, amazing, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I, I try to I try to be a good, you know, role model, uh, and somebody that can, uh, you know, inspire others to to do what they want to do. So I'm, I'm glad that I was able to, you know, do that for for you and you know, thousand people around the world. Yeah. Um. I was watching your um I was watching your uh IG live <laughs> and every time it, it makes me laugh honestly it makes me laugh. What's the um what's it you know what's nasty Leroy like? What what's what is nasty <laughs> two dollar booking fee <laughs> two dollar booking fee two dollars Two dollars. You, you got. Come on, $2. nasty Leroy. Come on, now it's that. It's it's sad. It's it's just sad, Leo. It's just sad. Yeah. Um. 
So I see you're on TikTok. Oh, well, yeah. I, uh, it would be a crime not to be on TikTok. Uh, what made you want to do TikTok? Uh, I just thought it was it was cool. It was, it was something that was fun, entertaining. Uh, I feel like it, it was something, that, you know, a social media platform that a lot of people use to entertain themselves during the, this entire, uh, you know, world pandemic. So I figured that I, I'd give it a shot. And uh, it, it really cool. It's really fun. So, yeah. And um, I see you, I see, well, I know firsthand, we've done cameos. Can, can you can you pretty much explain what cameo is to people that don't know what cameo is? For sure, yeah. Cameo is uh, an app where in request special personal messages from celebrities uh, all across the world, uh, your favorite celebrities, uh, and, you know, you can have your own personal, uh, you know, message that you can type out what you want them to say or do and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool way to stay in touch with your fans and interact with them and, you know, be there for them at special times uh, in their life, whether that's birthdays, uh, you know, any kind of holiday celebrations, uh, radio or podcasts, um, intros and stuff like that. So it's, it's really cool to be a part of. Um, also, I want to um, dive into a little bit of your wrestling history. I know you have an amazing professional wrestling um, career. Um, that's obviously how a lot of people know about you. Well, the majority of people know about you. Uh, I want to get into WrestleMania. What was that like? What was your first wrestle like? Like in the in the. Uh, Match with Bobby Lashley and the Demon Finn Balor. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, it was awesome, man. It was a, literally a dream come true, you know, being able to walk out in front of, you know, uh, the 80,000 people in New York. You know, New York is not, not too, too far from home, which I'm originally from, uh, the DMV area, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So it's not too far from home. So, you know, I, I had the opportunity to be out there with, uh, with, a legend like Bobby Lashley, uh, and having that be a part of you know, my first wrestling and getting experience, my family, and my friends there, and everything—it was just absolutely dream come true. Um, I know I was watching some of your um, Blackheart days; those were amazing, amazing. And I always thought, wouldn't it be interesting to see the Demon Finn Balor? Versus Blackheart Leo Rush, I just think that'll be tremendous. I I was like, yeah. uh, I feel like a lot of people uh, wanted to see that happen. You know, surprisingly, I think that surprised me the most. Just that you know, a lot of people remembered the character that I did on the Independence, and uh, they wanted to you know see me do that on a bigger platform uh, against a much larger uh, you know talent to you know the fans' um, point of view. Uh, which was like the dollar, you know, the demon. So it was really cool to, to have that type of acknowledgement and, uh, you know, just have a demand. Yeah. And the rest of it was pretty cool. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was um listening to uh, Feel the Rush. That is my hype song. That is absolutely my hype song. What, what what was it like working with um, uh, I think his name uh, Josiah. I think that's how you pronounce his yeah. name. Yeah. Um, what was it like being on that project? Yeah, Josiah is incredibly talented. Incredibly talented. Uh, you know, a lot of people knew him um, before he got signed with WWE from all of the videos that he did and the covers that he made. Uh, you know, rapping over uh, you know the wrestler's instrumental uh, entrance theme song. And I just thought that that was really cool. And he's such a talented person, such a passionate individual. Uh, and it was awesome to work with him. It, it was cool to see how passionate he was about not only the project, but just about music in, in general. And it was just overall a really cool thing to be a part of. Um, obviously, I've done a lot of uh, research on you. I, I, I saw you come from a family of musicians. Was 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 music something you knew you would eventually get into 
or was that just like, hey, I'm gonna try to do this and see what can come out of it? Yeah, I think I don't think that I w- I had the thought process of you know this is something that I'm eventually going to do. I think the opportunity presented itself once I had that you know little hiatus from the WWE and I had some time on my hands and a lot of time to figure out you know what was next for me in life. And I always had an interest in poetry, um, so you know one day I literally just put my poetry to some music and uh, uh, and released it, and people people really enjoyed it. So that, I think that was the first step in, in uh, allowing me to continue to make music. So, yeah. Amazing. Um, what else? Like I said, for those that don't know you, where could they find you on social media? Uh, they can follow me everywhere on social media. I'm everywhere on social media. He's the Versace I'm doctor. Social. Come on now. Come on now. I have to be on, on, on social media. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at It's Leo Rush. You can follow me on Instagram at Rush Leo Rush, which is one of my biggest platforms right now that, I, that I'm currently promoting everything that I'm doing uh, as far as, you know, wrestling or music or just mm-hmm. anything in life. Uh, you know, I'm on TikTok at Hey It's Leo. I'm also on Boise, uh, which is a singing app um, uh, at Hey It's Leo. And then I have my website, musicbyleo.com, and you can find all of my music on different streaming platforms. I have merchandise on there, such as uh, T-shirts. Uh, I have some eight by tens that that you know uh, can get signed as well. As homemade by my my wife uh, Sarah uh, with her company, All My Fitness by Sarah. So that's what they can find on social media. Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, the greatest cruiserweight to ever live. And trust me, I hadn't forgotten. I hadn't forgotten. <laughs> The 25-year-old piece of gold. Where did that come from? Where did, where did that come from? I'm a, I'm a piece of gold. You know? <laughs> That's where it came from. Ah, uh, the Versace doctor. My man, I salute you. Um, I respect everything you do. Like I said, you're like a celebrity big brother to me. I look up to you. Um, I want you to, you know, keep keep thriving, keep pushing on, and keep telling Nasty Leroy to stop doing two dollar bookings. Two dollars, just no. Yeah, I was gonna. I, I appreciate you, my man. Thank you so right. much for having me on. You're the best, Leo. Yes, sir. Feel the rush. <laughs>